and probably we were a good place should have created more opportunities than we did do but in the end we got two goals and, and uh, it looked just like it was going to be enough but for the but for the own goal but lots of credit to Genk they they played very well tonight and put us under pressure do you think you paid the start it was all very yeah. open what did you put that down to? Uh, I had slightly altered a couple of things just to see how it would work and see if it would go for us so I changed it around after about 20 minutes again so but you know while we are trying to rotate the squad and trying to get the best and try to make make the most of what we've got at times I'm, I'm looking to try and change and alter things a little bit so nevertheless I thought after that we, we actually played quite well there was some of the football very good but we just couldn't really get the, that simple finish at times we were looking for Is it the frustration that you haven't got, got that automatic qualification sorted now? You can't change the squad up as much in the last uh, well, I, I, I look at it in another way. I look at it tonight where we've qualified. You know, I think we are, unless I'm 10 points enough. We think, we think, yeah, we think that we don't think that uh, two teams can get 10 points. We don't think so, but I might be wrong. Maybe some mathematic genius is in the room. <laughs> no, not here. <laughs> yeah. But... Uh, yeah, I don't think MD. So I think I think we're qualified tonight with with ten points. Which and the other part of it is got to remember is we we are still new to this, and everybody thinks you know, and we're the people who see us regular know that we are making some changes to the team and the squad to try and make sure that we're keeping players fresh for Premier League games as well. So somewhere along the line, it would get bumpy. It wouldn't always be smooth, and. Uh, uh, Genk, as we expected, made it very bumpy. It was a it was a difficult night. Um, did yep. Genk surprise you? Uh, there were a couple of uh, new names, like Pencil, um, who's quite new yeah. uh, in the squad. Did they surprise yeah. you? Uh, no, they didn't surprise us because we'd we'd obviously done our homework and, and looked to see about the players who were in. And but I thought they I thought they started the game much better than us, which I'd, we know we were aware. You know, we we're at home, and I think that for Genk, it was it was a bit of a I wouldn't say it was a free hit, but I think it was a game they probably had to try and win and and, and take some points out of. And uh, they they played very well, uh, as I said early, especially that early period. But when we got a grip of it a little bit better, I thought we, we looked as if we could score. We sh- probably should have had a goal before half-time. And uh, we didn't, but I thought in the second half we'd done really well, much better. Just ask about Ben Rama. Yeah, yeah. I, did, I thought Ben Rama played well tonight, and I, um, you know, I thought he he done a lot of good things, which in recent games I've not been quite so sure. But tonight I thought he played he played well for us, and obviously getting a couple of goals for him as well will uh, will help him. But uh, I mean, the first goal was a great great work goal, and uh, it was a great individual goal. The the second goal, so good on him. Just going ahead to Liverpool as well, they've not lost in the league since March, but you, maybe two years ago, you go into these games with a bit of, you know, see what we can keep the score down or, or hold on to mm-hmm. the points. I think, do you go in a different mentality now? I think we've got a different mentality anyway. I think throughout the club, but you've probably seen games that we've had to play against Manchester City and Manchester United, you know, they, they make you suffer with the ball because they're so good on the ball. And, you know, in it, long times, you, it's very hard to, to maybe get as much aggressive you know pressing on the ball because they're so good so you have to try and keep the ball off them and, and hopefully affect them in, in the way we can but we'll certainly try and give them the best game we we can David what do you mean to have actually now got a thousand games under your belt uh, I've not really taken it in yet because I'm sort of uh, I think as a manager you're only really always reflecting on the last minute which is tonight and uh, I'll pick myself up a wee bit later tonight and tomorrow, get ready for, for the next one. But look, every every manager I've seen get a thousand games, I say, wow, how the heck have they got a thousand games? You know, I look at it and I think, my goodness. So it's quite hard to believe that I've got there myself tonight. And, uh, you know, it is, it's, a, it's, a, it's a moment I'll, I'll really remember because and I know that the game away from in Europe will always be remembered that Thomas Suchet got an own goal <laughs> with, a, with a couple of minutes to go but, but overall uh, you know I'm, I'm thrilled to have reached a thousand games it, uh, it, it is a, a great achievement David, what did you make of the away fans today? I thought the away fans were fabulous 
really do. I thought they, it was great right from the start. They were in the crowd, they were in the ground very early. So, but I think in the Premier League, the away fans have been uh, really good, and uh, we appreciate it their travel. But they were all looking forward to the European games. West Ham, the supporters, when we when we got qualified, they were all really looking forward to because it's something which we've not not had. Whereas Genk are much more often in, in Europe than than we have been. So I think for our supporters to to get a chance to get a trip away, and uh, we hope that we can keep it going. Guys, we're going to go to the screen. Um, if if anyone can hear me, JD at Sky, can you hear? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, I just wanted to touch on, on David. I know you just spoke about your 1,000th game, but we joked a couple of weeks ago um, that you were hoping that the owners would get you here. So you are here now. Um, yeah, I got I, through I, it. <laughs> just, just three games, right? Big three games. But um, I just want to say, just obviously, congratulations, first of all, most more than anything else. But how do you reflect on it? I know you haven't had a chance to take it in, but now that people are talking to you about it and asking you questions, just what are your immediate feelings? Well, it's been interesting. People have been asking me about a thousand games and saying, you know, what's been your best moment? Can you remember a game? What's your... And actually, it becomes quite blurred actually because you've you've had so many, so many years, so many games of it, and uh, to sort of identify one, one thing which would is better than others is really hard. And I actually think that part of being a manager has actually been trying to be consistent throughout your career and trying to, you know, be winning as many things as you can, but. Obviously, if you're at the bottom and you're not consistent, then you're probably not going to be in the job. So it probably is the reason why I'm I'm still in it for a, a decent level of consistency. Congratulations again, David. Thank you. Do we have any other people on teams? My I have a question. Roshane? Yeah, one sec. Yeah, far away. Hi, David. Hi, Roshane. Just looking ahead to Sunday's game against Liverpool, yeah, I have a selection dilemma at right back because uh, Safar had a good game tonight. Just wondering how tough will it be trying to decide who gets the nod? Very tough because uh, uh, Ben Johnson's been playing really well. Vladimir Kufal, everybody's aware of how well he's done for us over the last what, 18 months or so. So, uh, But I want the competition. And, uh, you know, the pleasing thing is when... when no, Vladimir get injured and Ryan was injured at the time as well. Ben had to step up and he certainly done so. So we've been pleased with Ben. But he's had four games in a row very quickly. So tonight was an, was an easy decision to, to leave him out of the team tonight and put Vladimir in. Uh, and last question for me, David. You mentioned earlier that the aspects of uh, Ben Rahman's performance that pleased you. What, what uh, sort of things have pleased you most? Uh, well, tonight he really pleased me because I thought he, I thought he released the ball at, at the right moment more often tonight. I thought he, the individual actions he took, I thought more of them come off. Uh, so we're, we're making sure that Ben Rama's well aware of what the standards are and what we expect of him. Uh, but I'm really pleased for him tonight that he got the goals because it's, you know, he needs it as well. I think he needs it himself for a little bit of confidence. But... Overall, I thought he was a, a much better team player tonight and uh, I was really pleased how he played. Thank you, David. Thanks, Cheers. Thank you. Uh, any more in the room? Or are we everyone happy? Thanks, guys.